Before we begin please like, share and subscribe to my channel, thank you. Turkey's first indigenous multirole helicopter, the T-625 Gokbe developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, is set to fly with a domestically produced engine by the end of the year, a company official said Friday. The TAI T-625 Gokbe is a twin-engined light transport, utility helicopter developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Turkey's Under Secretariat for Defense Industries plans to offer the new platform to Turkish armed forces and cooperating nations. The T-625 is being developed as part of the original helicopter program, coordinated by the Presidency of Defense Industries SSB. A twin-engine, six-ton class aircraft designed for high mission flexibility even in the toughest of geographical environments and adverse weather conditions is being created in response to growing market demand for higher mission flexibility in this class. Power for the T-625 prototype was previously coming from a pair of LHTECs, CTS-804 AT turboshaft engines that have 1,373 shaft horsepower SHP each, created in a joint Rolls-Royce and Honeywell partnership. Four helicopter programs. TAI is currently running four helicopter programs, and two of them are the 5-ton T-129 Tactical Reconnaissance and Attack Helicopter ATAK, and the T-70 General Purpose Helicopter, Yilikchi said. The TAI official, who said that they have delivered 59 helicopters to the Turkish Armed Forces TSK, and Interior Ministry Safar, noted that as of this year, a new version of ATAK was also launched, and its acceptance work continues. The ATAK helicopter can be used in different configurations and purposes with additions, he said. Yilikchi noted that they have also reached the preliminary design stage in the heavy class attack helicopter program, within the scope of which an aircraft is being developed to ensure it has superior features compared to others in its class and is suitable for operations in hot air, high altitudes and at sea level. We are designing a 10-ton new generation ATAK helicopter, he said, noting that the design may carry units by leading defense contractors ASELSAN and Rokitsan, both of which have very successful avionics and ammunition systems. Commenting on the company's T-70 multi-role utility helicopter project, Yilikchi said that a special avionics configuration is being developed on the aircraft. Once its tests and qualifications are complete, the helicopter will be ready to fly, he said. Regarding the company's foreign sales, he said Thai currently has a 30-helicopter contract with Pakistan and signed a similar contract for six more with the Philippines. In addition, Yilikchi noted that an engine export license from the US is expected for the deliveries. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.